Hello, 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 magical humans. My name is Avalon Starlight, and I am here for our Energy Forecast of the Week for November 13th to 19th in this glorious new moon day. I'm just so excited about this week. You know, it has been two months since we have been able to manifest, to be able to, you know, create intentions, to visualize, to dream, to allow ourselves to explore everything that the universe has to offer us. And, you know, it's been a real journey. Um, if you're anything like me, the last two months have felt very internal. Uh, very intense in a good way, right? Cleaning house, letting go of things that were no longer serving me, um, really being willing to, to sink into the depth that Scorpio wanted to take us into, close off some old stories and programs relating to finances and power and growth and safety, like really, really letting myself be and the energy of that eclipse and in this Scorpio season and in the feel to heal, which was our energy forecast last week. So letting these deep emotions from my past just bubble up to create space for something new that is coming. And that's what this week is about. So today is technically the, the new moon in Scorpio. So today represents a death and a rebirth. Now I will put the journal prompts that I use in my Elevate membership below if you're looking for that quick understanding of what our death rebirth really looks like this week. Um, so today was meant to be just like, what can I just let go of right here, right now? It doesn't have to be intense. We don't have to go into it. We could just be like, ba-boom, let's, let's let it go. Um, so that we can reborn, be reborn anew uh, into this week's energy. And this week's energy is great. Like when I tuned into my guides, into the collective energy on earth, right away the word that I heard was celebrate. And I really, really love this, this theme for us this week because I think that there's an opportunity to open up to the idea that celebration is like there is no big or small or or right or wrong or uh, tangible to celebration. It really truly is an allowance of the present moment to be so nurturing, so sacred, so divine, so tantalizing that we can't help but find the celebration in every single moment of every single day. It feels very tactile, it feels very sensual, all our senses being awakened this week to the possibility and the potentiality of, of what's available to us now that we are, <sighs> able to clean and clear our energy fields in our bodies after this very intense two months. You know, in Elevate Membership, I do new and full moon rituals for spiritual entrepreneurs just to keep their energy clear and clean and celebrated and celebrated again, supported. And I likened this, this, this new moon as, as, you know, opening up the windows and just letting everything flow into the body because the last couple months have kind of felt like we closed everything down and just kind of cleaned inside. And now we're like, Oh yes. Feel that energy coming into our body again. We are allowing, we are opening, we are in sacred celebration of everything in the world around us. And so let that kind of sit in the back of your mind as you're navigating through this week, right? Like, and, and always come back to this, this energy forecast as you need to, like think about it in the moments where you're like, oh yeah, what was this theme? Oh, it's about celebration. So how can I be in that energy right now? It could be that your kids just come up and give you a kiss and a hug and be like, mom, I love you, dad. I love you. And you're like, oh. I'm going to celebrate that. Or like me, I'm going to celebrate that I made these like peanut butter oat bars. I'm not really big in the kitchen, but I made something tasty yesterday and that's a celebration, right? You might celebrate winning a game of Yahtzee. I'm just playing into my own life right now. Um, or, you know, that somebody joins your program or, you know, reaches out to you because they feel a connection to your energy. Find all the nuances that are worth celebrating. Oh, we just keep focusing on it. And this is just going to keep allowing, oh, it's like that, again, that fall or spring cleaning, however you want to like, perce like perceive it, is that like you're just opening up and just letting all this energy after eclipse just wash through, wash through, wash through. And the seed of that is in the celebration. So I'm excited. This feels like a lot lighter than what we've been experiencing for the last like month and a half. So I'm, I'm good. I'm good with the theme being celebration and this, 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 um, visual of like, 
opening up the windows and cleaning out the space and letting fresh new air flow through us. And so I am using my Sacred Creators Oracle. Everything feels new and aligned um, for us spiritual entrepreneurs to be stepping forth into our highest service right now. And so Sacred Oracles, uh, Creators Oracle by Chris Ann Donnelly is my my gateway to to the business aspect energetic business aspect oh i'm gonna speak <coughs> oh excuse me real life real time um and so i like this deck because it guides and supports me in being in my highest service so i want to use that again this week it's what called to me to be used this week and this week's energy is no not that one yes this one Ooh, look, the now. We got the now, and oh, I can't make the sun. There we go. We got the now. And this comes back to this this practice that's coming through for us. Uh, you know, being in, in celebration means pausing, coming into the present moment, being able to uh, be in the full expression and expansion of our senses, of allowing the, the feel of the air or of our, our textures and the smells and the, the sight and the hearing be like the celebration of life, of living, of choosing to be in this life, living it fully and completely. Uh, you know, it's at these moments where things have been intense that we can really come out and, and notice notice all the nuances the colors the vibrancy the textures the lights everything and i mean it does help that for me personally it's now the holiday season because i just find the energy of the holidays and it doesn't matter what holiday but this one's my particular favorite exciting right like i love sparkly lights on people's houses i like walking in and seeing these these really joyful fun, playful things. And so this is a fun thing for me to do is just kind of be in the energy and the essence of all of this, all of these sights, senses, smells, joys, experiences. And so I love that that is the card. The now is the card for this week because it is, it is a celebration of our senses, which we can only be present with in the now. Um, and I think that's a really good anchor for this week's theme of celebration. Whoa, whoa. All right. So as always, if you get to the end of this energy forecast, I would love to hear how last week's Feel to Heal went for you, what's coming up as you're listening to this, and maybe you want to share a celebration. And maybe you want to help me celebrate by sharing this energy forecast with somebody that you know, with your community. So again, we can bring the message of these energy forecasts out to the masses because I know that Spirit guided me to bring these to you for a purpose and reason so that we have guidance and support through all the different emotional and energetic and cosmic forces that we experience on a week-to-week -week basis. So hit subscribe, share this video, celebrate with me, and leave a comment below.